Yeah, all right. I feel dumb for not doing it. Yeah. Well, maybe because we didn't have those fence options. That's so true. Oh, those panels feel so right. You know, like with mm. that width. Yeah. Oh, I did the wrong ones. <laughs> oh, <you> fool. <laughs> no, it's more consistent if it has the. Oh. I like the one without. But oh. these ones have it with. Well, I know. Ooh, it is time for a wish list. Okay, check. stream is up. Awesome. I'll go play through the campaign, so to speak. <laughs> yes. Okay. Campaign. I'll just introduce everyone. Well, I'm Joe, and we got Debs here in this epic chat moment. Wanna Hello, stream. You want to sound off? Sure. Introduce who you are. Uh, I am Byron, also known as Nanner. I do the music, user interface design, and sound design for the game. Epic. Um, um, I um, created, so to speak, the game. Like I, I'm at a loss of words here, but I guess what I mean to say is that I created the project back in the day. I started it with another fellow, these fellows, then doing an awesome project. And yeah. That's all I do. <laughs> Basically, the ideas man and every does everything. Yes, the ideas <laughs> man. The ideas man. Every every. <laughs> <the idea. laughs> what about you, Matt? Matt's I think he left. Chat. Damn. He left. Matt doesn't oh, like oh. me. Very sad. See. Uh, Matt is very opinionated. Damn. I. Let's carry on with the game. Hold on, Mm -hmm. To be honest, as awesome and cute as the uh, introductions are, mm. uh, who's like your audience? We are. What was that? You cut like, out. I don't. I don't want to sound uh, arrogant or whatever, but uh, like your audience, you usually know who other PK devs are. Uh, I don't know. I just want to introduce just in case people that don't know who you are. Yeah. Okay, I get that. Uh, not to be pretentious Jeez. or anything, it's just, that's how it is. I mean, it was just curiosity. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. Damn. <laughs> You're already in Why well, don't you know? Damn. Sir, you can't give me the sticker, don't you know? Maybe everyone should know who you uh, are, because you're too cool. <laughs> help me, I need to find myself. I don't know who I am either. You're done. The question is, what is Mel? What is, and who is? Who's mad is this Mel? <laughs> Good job breaking and closing the hand. <laughs> A little bit. No problem, Mel. You've done it. You've angered. Welcome to Prehistoric Kingdom's PAX West Build. I love that uh, semi art exhibit you made. <laughs> Which one? The semi -air. Yes. We didn't move him. What? I thought he left. Damn. He's just Matt, general. I legit thought you left. I didn't move you out. I thought it was very sad that you didn't want to stay with the cool kids. Yeah. What happened to the cool kids? Okay, now we're going to take a look at the apprentice. Oh. Uh, look at these cute boys. I think I know what it is. Vic's online. Oh no. I, I might I, I have missed clip. Damn. There you go. Oh. Don't let me. I'll not accept the offer. Dick. But I want to have a look he at the little Persephone's first. No. Nope. Build a tutorial. Nice. Oh, I see you're a man of culture. You like that color. Mm. Red is the best. Oh yes, a man after my own. Epic. I really like how you did the eyes on the Princess Eppley. Like, good eyes. They're very cute. Yeah. Which skin is this? Does it say which skin? I don't think it does. Uh, I think it's the third one, but I don't remember. The yeah. Look. This is the female, I think. Or the watermelon one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the watermelon? <laughs> 
Sullen male. Your stream's being all uh, all laggy, Joe. Well, that's very sad. Because for me, oh, it's recording just fine. Me, but... I think it might be just you or the internet. Yeah. Probably. It's running. Oh, it's running pretty 10, smooth 80s. on my end. Look at all these boys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got it to be smooth. Mm. I got you, boy. You're a buffoon. A buffoon. Shot Mal, my homeboy. I'm not a baboon. <laughs> okay, let's n let's build an Edmontosaurus paddock. First, we'll need and a hatchery. It's time. No, no, we should collaborate on a park. We should build a park together, like sh uh, share the saves and do bits and pieces. Nah. Planet Zoo friend, no. See, you say that, but your heart says yes. <laughs> To be fair, that mode is pretty broken at the moment. Franchise? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad they said they're gonna do uh, an offline franchise. That's what mm. I mean. Yeah. That's the stuff. To be fair, I'm just gonna be playing sandbox. But it's nice for other people. Sandbox is great, but you gotta be nice and creative. I don't, mm. I don't know. I'm not that great at building stuff. Mm. You like the management. Oh, I did notice this loading bay. That's so cool. It's loading bay. Oh, uh, no. On the building. Uh, Making prehistory. No, we're not gonna make a fence right now. The screen fro. Look at that. Who's the dummy? Look at that boy. I there you see, go. it's those little details. I love it. I really like this nursery. Okay, that's open genetics lab. What should we do? Regalus, Anectins, or Ugrinalic first? Um, stats. What was that? Go. Ugrinalic, then Regalus, then Anectins. Okay, we'll go biggest for last. Yeah. We'll do a little Ugrinalic paddock. Oh hey, my paddock fixed itself. Five males, five females. I think I know exactly where we're gonna put it. We're not gonna put it, we're gonna keep this big area for the regalus. Well, I mean, Edictins. We'll make a smaller little paddock over here. Insert butterfly meme. Is this Jay Wee? Butterfly. No. Is this Jay Wee? It's Is this not a poster. Jay Wee? How do you know, Nano? I bet you're not even a developer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie. I'm really not. I don't know why I'm still on the team. <laughs> Damn. Because yeah, music making is not really game development. Any schmuck can make music, am I right, Mal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I make it every day. It's easy. All you need is a good plastic flute. <laughs> I'll make it an electric wire fence, what we'll do. I don't use the metal fences enough. I want more metal fences. Oh, Nathan still gotta give me that nice concrete wall. Yeah, the big one. You still gotta give me that. Make it curved, I like If that. it is. If it doesn't provide sustenance, I ain't gonna require it. I'm really excited for uh, when we go into pre-alpha 1 and see what people will do with it. Because you can already do quite a bit if you're creative enough, I guess. I don't know. Mm. But uh, with all the new tools for pre-alpha 1, I am just really want to see what people do. Which is, I, I, I like to have a wider player base for pre-alpha 1 hmm. yeah than the usual like 10 VIPs everyone that's epic would be kinda cool I wonder how would you like how would VIPs feel about um, pre-alpha giveaways 
as like community like challenges or something. Yeah. I think that could be cool. Like, is it, if they actually earn it, <laughs> not just like 10 random people. Yeah, because I think on one hand they could be cool with it, on the other hand there could be the factor of, hey we paid for it, you know, and these people didn't. Mm. Yeah, I think the devil... You don't exactly want to make people feel cheated, so... Yeah. Uh, nah, that makes sense. I just think if you were gonna do it, I'd, oh. I would probably do it like a competition. Yeah. Make, make it fair. I would like to ask them their input on this situation. Because I would like more people to get their hands on this build. Especially since it's kind of it kind of works as an alpha. It's not really an alpha, but... You know, like well, I mean, like, the alternative is to give them an early copy of the game, but not the other perks. This is true. Mm. Although the biggest perk is the early copy of the game. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> this is true. This is the perk. Oh my god, the, the changes we made to the Tropical Dry Dirt yesterday are great. Amazing, right? The dirt especially, I love the dirt. Yeah. Take that as a yes. <laughs> I'm just concentrating on getting this fence. What do you think of that? Look at that enclosure. I I'm think it looks good until you make the fence really offset the path. Nah. Wow. It's true. It's just criticism constructed. But now I mean, it's nice. Can't wait till the other people, um, like VIPs. Actually, find out like where all the different textures are. So they can start integrating things like substrate into the exhibit. Yeah. How good is the terraforming scene? My thing is, I wonder if any of the VIPs or mods or whatever will add, will put more time into this than just the surface. Let's try it out, you know? I hope so. Uh, I do hope so, but I think only a minority will, if, if at all. Because if they do, I feel like they could get really good at building once to get the hang of the game. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing with any game, you have to learn the tools, and then once you have, you can do some pretty fun stuff. Once you get like the creativity, I think that'll be like uh, like a lot of the modular stuff, and then you'll have to learn it. Mm. Yeah. Like this would be Absolutely. pretty easy to make quite a nice enclosure. I was thinking about maybe adding a... I might change um, around here. I like how you were uh, file. I don't know. I, we usually do all curve, so it's nice to see it change. Mm. I was thinking about just making it a bit more rectangular. Yeah. Nice and polygonal. Mm. But I do like how the paths are polygonal, but you smooth it out the corners from the fence. Mm. That is cool. Yeah, Nano still makes the best paths. God damn it. Stop. <laughs> Making the jealous. Look, I forgot we can do stuff like this now. We can actually like fill in the edges. Let's have a big... Yeah, the that's better. paths that. got really nice to use. I just love how organic it feels. I love it. Thanks. Did you share this on? I'm gonna share it on. A... Are you fine? Share it on what? On Twitter and uh, Facebook. I mean, it's a pretty unprofessional stream, but it doesn't matter. I feel like sure. I, like I'm gonna mention it. It's a, it's a chill, laid back stream. If you want to tune in and you can even do, do my one stream. as well if you want. Because it's just relaxing. Yeah. I mean, not like this is my thing. I'll uh, I'll mention that. But if you guys are fine with it, like I don't want to force it on you. Oh no, yeah. I'm plenty fine. Yeah, okay. Because I... I don't want you uh, you to feel. Uh, my only condition is that you look at the chat because I can't be bothered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the chat. I have both chats open. Okay, I'm gonna share this then. Um, probably Twitter is the best platform for it. I don't feel like 
sharing it on Facebook. Yeah, video. put it on Twitter. Yeah, just Twitter is fine. Um, okay. I'll see how this looks. I might just go back and make all the edges look nice and pretty. I really want to put time in making this look nice. Because I think the Ugrinalik deserve it. Yes, they are handsome boys. That is pretty big, yeah. Mm. It's funny how easy it is to make big enclosures. Like, you, you really lose track of size. Mm. Like, look at that. That's like... That's huge. Huge. That's like a three square kilometers. You can actually, like, click on it. Mm. See. That's what I was yeah. doing. That's big. Currently holds zero animals. I won't put them in yet because I want to make it look nice. I think that really little scraggly fence here I really like this. Stop trying to connect to the other fence. You can you can press shift. Try that. Hold shift and uh, it won't connect. Nice. You can put it as close as you want without it snapping if you, if you just hold shift. Left shift, that is. Oh, that's cool. Make it straight. That is a, such a beautiful park, man. I gotta, I gotta share this. Um, okay. All it took was just a few tweaks of the path system. <laughs> and everything's changed. To the Fire Nation detect. Uh, it doesn't sound like someone set up all the uh, path demolition sounds. I know, it's uh. Because you had to enable it back at the last minute. So it looks like it doesn't. Because I think the path models still have the right um, objects to them. Still Will have you the be right able to just overlap map. fences. Overlap? So, and, yeah. Uh, what do you mean exactly? Like, um, if I put like a short fence and then want to put a taller fence on it. Would I be able to do that? Yeah, you can do that already. Oh, that's pretty I'm pretty cool. sure. I think I'm not completely sure. I don't know if it's the in the intended purpose, but you it might be able not to. The intended, uh, behavior, but... I might give it a try. Do a quick experiment. Give it a go. Test it out. I'll make it straight. Though. Cause I think you could make some pretty cool designs. Like that, look at that. Doesn't that look cool? Let me see. Uh, yeah, okay, that looks pretty cool. Oh, see? That's tight, okay, I like I that. Okay, I didn't expect this would look good, but it does. It really does. Yeah, <laughs> okay, that's dope. And it gives a lot of texture, I think. Yeah. It's pretty good. Okay, well, this is the post I'm gonna write. Or that I wrote and I'm gonna post. Uh, today an improved version of the PAX West bill has been shared with a select group of backers and an already seen creativity at play. Tune in for these two laid back streams with some developer mingling. Hmm. I like that. How that? And Do it, send it. And then the two links. Okay. It is tweet time. I like how um, Joe's stream embedded, so people are probably more likely to join his stream. Epic. <laughs> <laughs> and both people rejoiced. 
I was like, thank god. <laughs> that part, oh my god. That looks awesome. I've never made something like this in PK before and I'm so happy I've done it. It looks so nice. It really does. Can't wait till we have the... Uh... How did you get your light to be so... Because that's close to sunset. How did you get that? This is just what I spawned in with. Really? Yeah. That doesn't really make sense because if you look at Joe's lighting, his lighting is uh, what you usually spawn with. Mm. Your lighting is more towards sunset. It's really different. I think well, we should keep now that you've told me that, yeah. I'm afraid to uh, go into settings. Because <laughs> I don't I want to go back. I like this. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't think you can go back. I think what you have is uh, there is a bug. Right. I like giving this little outline around the fence. It looks quite nice. I think we're gonna change that pretty soon. We're just gonna redo the entire uh, exhibit stuff. Just keep the overlay of the fence, because that was actually pretty cool what we did. I would like to combine enclosures like that. So I'm quite big enough. See, if you plan your park properly, you can actually like cram some pretty large paddocks into a small area. Mm. Really seasonally sized. If yeah, like I reckon those paddocks could really all like at least the the bigger mammals. Like this one definitely can. Yeah. You know this Absolutely. these paddocks are probably like the size of like most zoos. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I just love the way you did the path design. Mm. Real nice. I like that. I feel like if we look down here you'd wanna a through from up here. Get a view of the ocean, along with the rolling hills in the background. I think what we'll do is keep the trees to a minimum in the corner. So we'll just have more of an open, you know, like, look out into the ocean. That's what I think we'll do. Look at that. That was seamless. That worked really well. Yeah, that worked really well. It's less seamless, but that's oh, fine. Oh, now would you look at that. That looks incredible. I like that. You're doing a nice boreal paddock? Yeah. I might change the color of the terrain, but I want to get the plants in first. If you want to get inside buildings, you can uh, set off uh, an option in, uh, option in the controls. Okay. Hold camera collision. And if you set it off, you can get inside buildings. Okay, settings. Camera, get inside. Where is it? Gameplay. Controls. It's controls. Yeah. Where does it say? It's Kids. cam collision. Yeah, camera collision. On the right bottom. Just trying to read through. Rotate it's left. Oh. Mount sensitivity. That's it. I've, you can. Oh, I've been waiting for the day since the demo where you can just make a big plaza and have it look normal. Oh, I love Lighter the settings. ammonite pathing. That's so cool. You didn't apply your setting. I did. I... No, we didn't. Because if you did, that would work. I think now it's working. Yeah, there we are. No smoking. Look at that. Isn't that the beautiful view? You can yeah. see the ocean in the background. Yeah, that's actually really good. The view from inside the uh, the platforms with all the eye adaptation looks really good. Yeah. 
really can't wait for a really good ranger mode. First person would be just go into these buildings and just enjoy them. Remember, follow the rules, boys. No hitting the glass could spook the animals. <laughs> Select all. Let's all put them in here. Maybe I should do the mission so I can actually get the viewing tower. Yeah. Oh, habitat. Exhibit information can be checked by clicking the fences. Uh, da, 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 da. That's quite cool. I can't wait to do the views from inside the platforms or towers or. Like in Jay yep. Let's have a look yeah. in the building. Yeah, like that. I bet that'll work. Be look at that. I think that's. You can see them in the bottom. Yeah, you can. That's pretty cool. I like that. See, look, this pad paddock's plenty big. Oh yeah, it's huge. You could put some sauropods in here and they'd be fine. Especially when you consider that people, like, obviously would be dwarfed by these animals, so... Mm. If you were to put modern animals into that, it'd be, it, the exhibit would look even bigger. Mm. These guys are about the size of an elephant, so... Oh yeah. Well, these bigger guys, maybe not quite. Is it bigger than this paddock? Not quite. Well, these ones, uh, I would say they're around the size of an Indian elephant, maybe a tad yeah. smaller. Mm. It's Anectins, it's the big one. Yeah. Okay, we're we'll adding. Oh, the foliage density thing came back again. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's odd. That's interesting. Well, if you set the fence, that will fix itself, but it's good to know that it still persists. If I uh, want the fence? Yeah, if you clicked on it. If you selected it, the foliage would reset you. Let's see if that works. There we are. I think they're happy with the enclosure. Well, they would like less trees, but it, it's not like that matters a lot at the moment. And if you probably look at it, at the moment it's not quite a hundred percent either. Mm. So I might. That doesn't feel like hundred percent because hundred percent would be a lot denser than that. So might. that's the sort of thing that we need to work on and improve. Mm. I think we'll get rid of some in the improvements for a pre-alpha game. <laughs> no, <laughs> it can't improve. It's pre-alpha. Yeah, it's well, nobody, already uh, perfect. Nobody, nobody. How's this? 86%. Uh, social group's good. Privacy's good. I love that we have a leaf texture for the terrain. Mm. So I can just mix some dead leaves into the dirt. We'll hide this in the corner here so the guests can't see them. Look, the guests can't look Small in here dish. and see them. The cool thing is that they'll be able to eat from trees and plants. Oh, that'll uh, be cool. So. No. As long as they don't do it, prefer it over feeders, because eventually... No, they won't. <laughs> no. That would probably, like, give, decimate your enclosure in, like, a couple of days. So look at that. Don't you think that's pretty? That is very pretty. Granalic. That's actually a pretty recent discovery of Granalic. I think that was like 20... It is. It's like 3, 4 years ago. Yeah. It's not mm. like worthwhile animals. No, I can't wait for the um, uh, half walls for the stone fences. Mm. Yeah. Because we don't have any short stone fences right now. Yeah, this is a very pretty enclosure. I like that. Seen the iron bar used in the hot Hmm. So, let's click on the fence and see if we can reset it. It still is not registering. I think I might need to get well, rid of a few more plants. Because, yeah, the thing, what it does at the moment is it clamps it at 100. The value is probably hun uh, higher than 100, but it can only display oh, up there it to is. 100. We got our mammoths. Yeah. So obviously that figure isn't very accurate, but yeah. Mm. Yes. Oh, 
haven't fixed it. Okay, and now we will go into this. Did you delete anything? Put in a gazebo shelter for them. Gazebo's gonna look epic. Mm. Especially in uh, more orange, dawning lights. Mm. Okay, I think the Ugradalic are quite happy in their paddock. These models are really beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, they're not too shabby. Instead of Enmontosaurus, one would be like Ugrinalic one or a Nectans one or something. That would actually probably be good, but. Yeah. Yeah, that would probably be good. Yeah, that's fair. Let's that have a look at it. I'm still happy with this kind of fence design, I really like that. <laughs> you like come sit and see. Oh look, a Velociraptor in here, or something. Let's see what other cool fence combinations we could get. There's some good ones. Oh, I got an idea. You means like, overlap though. Yeah. Because I don't know if you've seen that fence, but that actually works really well. He's overlapped, um... Look at um, that! Wooden wall with the glass. Look at this one. Small palace here. Oh, that's actually really nice. Yeah. Okay, this is a cool thing because I, I never thought about this. I never intended this to be a thing, and yet it looks pretty cool. It looks tight. I really like that. See, it should be over able to overlap fences. You could create something cool. What about? We'll make. Is it straight? Yeah, it's straight. We'll see what we can do with this fence. This one's very JP style. I like it. See what we can do with this one. No, that one doesn't work. Let's see what we can make to work. Well, it would probably work well there is using a flat concrete wall, the white one. Mm, uh, that on actually works. Well, I buggered myself. That's truly a JP style fence, look at that. That's really JP. This looks like high textured JPOG. <laughs> Have you buggered yourself now? I, I, um. It was a dumb dumb and placed something too close uh -huh. to the pathway. Oh yeah, it'd be nice if the uh, fence gives me updated immediately. Like when switching between modes. Oh, that's a bit yeah. tall. If you got a short, a shorter concrete wall, I think that would work well in it to make a JPOG style fence. Right. Mm. Yeah, there'll be um, like half walls for the brick, cobble, and mm. sandstone. I like this this one we made. I like that. It looked nice in a styled enclosure. You can even do a hedge if you want. Oh, that one doesn't look too hot. Oh, we can just remake it. Yeah. Because you've joined them with different offsets, so. Hmm. I like that. No, no, you gotta save that. Have you saved it yet? Oh, good call. <laughs> Please. I'm gonna save it too. Because when what are we you, gonna you, call you're it? done with that, I wanna play with it. I'll take some of these screenshots. 
What we gotta call it? Bone Canyons. I'm really happy with that style of fence. Only really, Mammoth Canyon Adventure doesn't sound like a, a too bad a name. Yeah. <laughs> Epic Mammoth Moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think now we'll do Regalus. This is a very big exhibit for the Eternal Lock, uh, Joe. Yeah. Mm. It's huge. But, like, and, and still, you've scraped so little of the total surface area that you can have. Mm. There's so much space on the island. I think we should definitely yeah, we gotta figure out keep this overlapping. We gotta keep it. We gotta figure out what's happening with the uh, flat concrete wall texture. It'd be good. Yeah, I don't know. Because uh, Nathan doesn't have that. I think it might be a mole issue. Looks like a UV issue, honestly. Yeah. It only appeared recently, it's very strange. It is. It's We're gonna make a JP fun. style fence, I think. Hey Joe. Mm -hmm. um, while you place the fence, press T. T? Oh, moves the camera. I think I like the other way better. I like this. Yeah, it's just an option in case you like it. That option is really good for terraforming. When you yeah. I could definitely see people using it for terraforming. Look, this one's even bigger. You could definitely fit a lot of animals in that space. For sure, yeah. It's very interesting to see you both. I I've got my two screens on, and I have Nana on the left and Joe on the right, and it's really interesting because you have very, very different styles. Mm. Oh. Joe is going for this almost kind of safari-like mm. uh, park feel, whereas mm. Nana's going for a tighter approach, a very zoo-like I feel approach. like I would do like a mixture, especially for like smaller animals. Yeah. A mixture is good. Mm. Like, because there's such a, a high gradient of sizes with the animals mm. in the game, so... Mm. You can't not do a mixture of that. It's not like... Um... JWE or something where there's kind of like one size. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a, a range and you have to adapt your building style to yeah. that. Like, yeah. you're not going to build a four square kilometer enclosure for a Satakosaurus. Yeah. It's nice because it gives you options when you're building. Mm. So, like, for this little area that I'm building here. I'd have my very like small to medium sized animals and then I'd change it up to kind of a safari esque. I think I like to keep this enclosure for, for Nectins and then put a uh, Regalus in here. Because this is a big enclosure for the big boys. Oh my god, I spent so much time making the enclosure and it's too small. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to do it for? Uh Edmonto. Okay. Well, good Maybe thing I we don't just... care too much about that stuff at the moment. That's true. That means nothing. Why am I freaking out? Yeah, they. It, yeah, that means nothing at the moment. Hmm. Uh, I, don't go, I don't go for Regalus enough. The game requirements have not really changed for the demo, actually. I was just about to respond to that. Yeah. Uh, if you're still here, the answer is uh, the most accurate answer is you'd probably do better at looking at um, the Steam page because. A pretty accurate estimation of what you're gonna need are there on that page, on our store page. I think I'm gonna extend but this westward a little bit. The graphics look better than the demo, um, but the game should be generally better optimized. But I do feel like with this you're gonna need a, a stronger base to run it. 
It's a weird, it, it's a weird mixed bag. I like this enclosure. I mean, like naturally the game's gonna be more CPU bound, or like not bound, but reliant to have like proper AI and guests and stuff. Like there's gonna be more happening than on the demo for CPU. So look, you get a really wide view and you can have your Ugrinalic or big sauropods I think would go well in here. Like an Argentinosaurus herd or something. Looking forward to square paths. Yeah, that'll be cool. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. Especially, oh, I'm looking forward to grid, but that's gonna be a bitch. Mm. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Be a pain. Bitch. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a pain because of the grid overlay. If anything, I'm sure you like, I still it don't out. have a really great solution for that. Okay, let's make some big anectons. I think we'll do a herd of 25. What do you think? 25. That's a lot, but that's it like works. the max. That's well, half that's of the max. 40. Yeah. Oh, do 40 then. Oh my god. We're gonna make a huge herd, boys. You do you, man. We're gonna have 15. a lot of animals in your park. That's 15. And then we'll do another 5. I think we'll have to make another one of these. See if that helps. We can have double the animals going. Why is everything invalid? Oh, I'll put it here. Maximum capacity right now. Oh, we got a melanistic. You can speed up the time if you wanna. How, how do you do that? Faster. How do you speed? Bottom right. Oh, bottom right. Like uh, most games. <laughs> what adult? <laughs> we got a melanistic. It's tight. That's epic. It's gonna look great. Mm. We're gonna put 40 in this enclosure. I feel like they've earned it. Okay, select all. Play select. Look at that. We got 10 females in there. We're gonna grab another 5 That's females. That's a lot of animals. Hey Nana, do you maybe feel like we should uh, change the font? Of our animals' names in their name input field. To. Maybe like the bold font. Maybe. I mean, I also wouldn't mind just changing the in game font. Nope. Mm. Okay, I'm not too sure about that, but I can give it a. Like, what if we just. Oh, we got another melanistic. Nice. Um, re like, added, got a new font, but replaced the name so it was the same as Nerdo Sans. Ah. Uh... Doable. No, no, this park you're making is it. better than the last one you made. Yeah. The Eastern Reserve, or what, what you called it. Oh, that's another bug. Um, first time placement doesn't keep object rotation. Only the first time? Seems like it. Let me, um. Okay. I see. I got two melanistics and an albino. Oh, wait, what? I know, it seems like object rotation keeping is kind of mounted. Right, I'll try to fix that. Okay, select all. We're gonna have a look at our oh, albino. That's look at that. That's cool. Albino anectins. Slow down time. He's quite beautiful. I like his red eyes. I love the long leaf pine. He reminds me of... He reminds me of Rudy from Ice Age 3 for some reason. <laughs> mm, I can see the comparison. Mm. 
general profile. This way to see the albino baryonyx. Mm, it's literally oh, yeah. Rudy. <laughs> we actually recently uh, changed up our baryonyx a little bit oh. to make it slightly more accurate oh. and have better body proportions. Nice. Yeah, looks much better now. Oh yeah. Is a melanistic male, I think. Is is there size variation in the demo? Or? Yes. Yeah, I, th I can notice some are bigger than others. You can probably also notice like color variation. Some yeah. are darker and some yeah, are lighter like, than this others. This one here is a little bit darker than this one. I think that helps a little bit with individual variation. It's kind of like with um, Planet Zoo with like tigers and zebras. Mm -hmm. Although to a more basic, simple level. Yeah, I don't think it needs to well, be overly does. complex. These guys don't have. Our, our animals generally don't have super advanced patterns. Usually, it's just random. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing intricate like zebras, really. Yeah. Well, not many animals have intricate patterns like that. Not even reptiles. A lot of it's just random colors. It's certain parts of the body. I like that. That's a herd of 40. I think we're gonna clear it up now. Oh no, resume. We're going to clear up this enclosure. We're gonna put some redwoods. I think that'll be fitting. This continental we want to. Increase the size, a little less intensity, and just go around the edge. Right oh, Elliot is finally downloading it. Oh, nice. Let's have a the look. The boy's gonna give it a good old go. I think I'm giving it a good gear. Look at that. What do you think of that, Mal? Uh, let me catch up with the stream. Look. Oh, the nice view from the... Mm. From you the see platform. the ocean, and look, the hurting. It looks great. It's very scenic. Mm. You could take an awesome screenshot with screenshot mode from that. How do you open screenshot mode? Uh, you can either press F1 to toggle it, or you can go to the le top left. There's a button with a camera icon at the bottom of the overview button. Oh, okay. I think we could easily take a nice picture from out here. I'll use it for the thumbnail for the video. Like that. Look at that. What do you think of that for a screenshot? He's not even looking. Oh, he's looking. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking. It's pretty cool. I like the way the clouds look in that. Mm. I could put... It looks just beautiful. I'm glad I could fix the water in time. Yeah. Time of day. Can't wait to update the water. Yeah. I think... Mm, I want to get one with a few more animals in the shot. I'll move over this way a bit. I think this looks good. Like there. You can see the animals down the bottom. Move it up a bit. Oh, that looks great. I like that. That'd be a perfect screenshot. We'll try rule of thirds. Enabled. We want the focal point in this final center. It's a little bit of photography lesson. Hmm. It's really great for those who want to be all artistic, uh, artistic with their. Mm. Screenshots. I think we'll put a cool tool. this redwood here as the focal point as the photo. You can also change time of day if you like. You can get like better mm. uh, lighting angles. I'll see. Mm. Now that looks a bit too. Mm. Uh, well, the night one looks quite nice. But I think we want to go for day. Now that looks a bit too. Early morning might look good. Something like that. What do you think? I'm waiting for the stream to catch. 
I think early morning looks best. Yeah. Like 8 yeah, a.m. morning looks nice. It's nice there where the shadows are long and drawn. Hmm. I think that looks Maybe quite nice. Shadow uh, contrast is strongest. Uh, I think we might make it a little bit slower too, so we can have animals walking. Look at that. There's one running at the bottom too. Mm, I like that. I really do like this like open kind of enclosure. It is a very cool style. Hmm. And I think it fits well with like the scenery because it's less like a zoo, but it's more like a because it's like big environments. It just looks it really f helps with new trying to incorporate that in instead of trying to making little city parks and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like this kind of map kind of lends itself to it. Like if you had like a smaller, more city map. I feel like it'd be more inspired to make more smaller enclosures. And plus, yeah, because this is such a big space, so you have to adapt yourself. And mm. and it's kind of a waste to make s small enclosures when you have so much majesty that you can use. Well, look at that! You can have a nice view of the ocean, and then from here you can like look down and see them walking around. It's like tiered. Might even just flatten this bit. I don't even need to terraform much because it just works so well. I'll just smooth, I think, smooth it here, make it a little nicer. Put up the intensity a little bit. Just got more of a flow. And one thing is that there's also areas for them to hide. They can come over here and sleep if they want to get away from people seeing them. I gotta be honest, I like, out of all the animals, all the, all the Edmontosaurus, I like the Enectans one the most, personally. I agree. I like the pattern. Plus it's the biggest one, and who doesn't like the biggest one? And it lived with T-Rex, so it's you could feed them to it, or made it, or it would just kill it. So they got pretty big. We'll have a look at our albino. I like the look of that boy. Hmm. Oh, you can notice the light, the translucency, especially on this one. It just adds that little bit extra life. It really does. Okay, now we're gonna try and build Regalus. The crown jewel. Hmm. Literally. Yeah, I was about to say literally. I think we'll use one of our experimental techniques. I think we'll go over it with this one. I don't think Plexiglass would be strong enough to hold a Montosaurus. I think we'll yeah, it wouldn't, but that doesn't matter here, so, uh, you know. Hmm. You can literally hold them in with the uh, with the hedge, and they'll be fine. Hmm. It's okay, you've got another few months where that actually matters. That's right. I'll use this one, I like this one, the log fence. I feel like this give a very, like... North American log cabin kind of style. Yeah, it does. I think we'll put a viewing tower in the middle. Somehow. how much we can actually do just from this little demo. <laughs> I 
Okay. I found an unintentional exploit that's actually really cool. It's not really an exploit, it's just kind of a bug. I can make archways with fence posts. Oh, that's true. That's pretty cool. Archways, how would I do that? Basically, you just have to uh, make a fence short enough to the point of where it can't generate the uh, midsection, and then click. That's actually really clever. You can get a little, little pillar. You could probably fake that with rocks then. Oh, that's cool. Though it doesn't really work. Like a tombstone. <laughs> Someone, Someone died. Just died there. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the ebonite path? There it is. No, I think the dinosaur path would probably work best. intersections it's really finicky what you can do to make that work is um, before you place down the initial post you uh, hold shift so it doesn't snap okay it's okay. just snapping the color with it some people fix in the future I see what you mean by I don't think I can do that here do it from the other side. Well, that works. It's not quite perfect, but that's alright. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my overlaying fences technique that I've just perfected. What you could try out mm -hmm. is, you know, those two posts you just placed. Yeah. You could try uh, using another wooden fence or another just fence in general that has a smaller post, and place it on the sides of those, and join it with like a sh very short fence, like a palisade or something. Short palisade. Could be cool. Like short post, long post, <laughs> joined by short fence. I find that quite funny. I don't recognize this part oh. as the enclosure. the way you did the uh, viewing uh, tower inside the enclosure. Mm. But yes, that, uh, that size, that enclosure area is a bit fucky. Mm. Shouldn't work like that, but you know. Oh, well, as long as it doesn't affect the animals right now. Yeah, exactly. Looks like I can sit at the top of this. And you can still see the Anecton's paddock if you look over. And you can still see the scenery. <laughs> is this the current modular object system? <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of cool. What I think we'll do is add. Well, that's the tall one. We'll add the short one. Where is it? We'll put it through the fence. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? I like that. It's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Joe is doing pretty much the same thing. Mm. That does look really cool there. Mm. I feel quite 
chuffed that they I like we basically come up with this, yeah. Oh, you want us to keep that feature? I think we should keep it, yeah. Oh, I think you like, should. Like, not necessarily the single post placement, because that's going to be a thing that you're going to be able to do through the modular system. But, uh, Overlay. points overlapping. Hmm. can make some really nice. Keep that. Cause look at this cool design I've made just from overlapping them. Yeah. Literally, you've created a new fence type. Hmm. It's not quite perfect, but. Yeah, it's a demo. Let's look at that. Kim walking through here. I think that would look beautiful. And it runs pretty well, I got 30 FPS and I'm um, full K. Yeah, it's okay, it could be better, but yeah. considering the amount of animals you got and the fact that um, those are still fairly unoptimized, mm. yeah, it holds its own pretty well. And it's 4K. Oh, it's 4K. Mm. I'm at 4K, okay. but the game's recording at 1080p. Yeah, 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 that's definitely uh, a factor in this. That's beautiful now. Mm. That is really beautiful. We should put some of these in Steam. Mm. You really should. One of my enclosures, that'd be tight. Well, if we can, I can share the save with you and you can take any... Oh, no, I meant... I yeah, meant sure. Yes. Oh. oh, yes, you can. That is really pretty, I know. That's really mm. nice. Quickly, be a sec. I'm thinking after we do this, should we remake the Predecephaly enclosure, or should we try and do something with the mammoths? Uh, it'd be cool if you did something with the mammoths. I think that'd be cool. Especially because that would give them, if you put them in that big exhibit, that would give them a lot of uh, room to roam. Mm. I might delete this path here and extend some, some sort of enclosure somehow. And when that water painting comes in, we'll be able to create nice little lakes. I think that'll be cool. Yeah, I am so excited for water painting. Dude, like, the game is going to get so much better. Mm. Like, it, it can probably be seen how uh, how much of an improvement it got over the months, over mm. these months. You just see and, like, how much of an improvement it is over the demo. Like, mm. in every possible way. You can actually create stuff. It's quite nice. Yeah, and the stuff you create looks way better as well. Mm. The tools are nicer to work with, you don't have the mm. weird, um, you know, just four way fences and paths. Mm. You have nice curves. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> well, these guys are pretty happy 93%. I think it's just because they're at 40. That's alright. That's a lot of space those guys have. Mm. Even with the amount of animals, it still doesn't feel like they're... No. Well, uh, there's also the factor of their uh, population slider not currently working. Mm. It's something I have to fix. Uh, we'll probably include it in some, uh, some fix patch these following days. But like, I also don't want to spend too much time on this because... Mm. Gotta move on to uh, more features. I feel like mixing in like some Seth Skillosaurus would really make this a really nice paddock. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Maybe even put a couple Ankies in here. I feel like trikes would probably just need their own thing. I feel like having a couple Ankies in here would be quite cool. Especially when you have like 
jeep tools and stuff. Ravens I'll have to put rails. search options in Ankylosaurs in that exhibit. Mm. And some small boys like uh, yeah. some Dinosaurs maybe. Maybe not have so many, like 15 to 20 Edmontosaurus. Then have like a two or three Ankies and a small herd of Triceratops. Yeah, and you can cover that with ferns as well. Mm, lots of little ferns. Be a ferns. nice, uh, pretty looking environment. Yeah, look straight at our creek. I think now we're gonna put in our Montos. The, the, and Regalus. I really like the comb. Greed 15. Cephaly paddock. I think we should try, after we do the mammoths, we'll make a really tight little enclosure to, like nano style. Hmm, nano style. Hmm. I really like this paddock. I feel like the mammoths deserve justice with a big paddock. I'll have a big herd of females with a bunch of males in there. Like real elephants. Well, they don't need a drink in this build, so I don't think we need to worry even about no, drops they don't, and stuff. Yeah. Do that stone and pixie glass thing for the mammoth, so I think that would look quite cool. I think we'll make a different sort of paddock. Mm. It would fit well, Ice Age theme. Okay. <coughs> Hello, Mr. Music Man. Welcome back. It does. That, I don't know why it does that. Uh, it, it probably works better if you press C. C, C is the short, shortcut for uh, switching between. Oh, codes. that's a lot better. It, it breaks like what you had before, probably because you have to go back to uh, um, to the button on the UI, and then you click, so it probably places it at the same time. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah. it's probably a button. That's probably what it is. I'll give it a re rehash. I like my curved pathing. Mm. Let's press C, eh? Yeah, C. And there should be like little uh, floating tips that uh, appear whenever you go into any of the actions.
Okay, well, I am probably going to go now. I need sleep. Uh, lay down for a while. <laughs> it's been a long day, I haven't had any sleep today. I think you deserve it. Yeah. I don't think you, you really need to work for a, for a good sleep. You, you just need it, you don't even deserve it. <laughs> oh. No. Shut up, Mr. Music Man. You think you're so smug? Yes. Make sure to uh, show your park with me, because that's, that's really cool. And uh, share your screenshots and peek at screenshots sh uh, sharing or whatever. Oh, yeah. Screenshots and artwork or whatever. You know the channel. Mm. Oh, yeah. If, uh, you're doing some pretty cool stuff, both of you. Nice. Alright, well, I'm going to leave, guys. So uh, good luck with okay. your park. And keep having fun. Goodbye. You will. Bye. What a nerd. I don't know. Silly mouth boy. Hate him. Is it you'd love to hate him or you just hate loving him? Just hate him. He smells funny, he speaks funny, he's just disgusting. What a stinky boy. Truly. I really like this combination with the plexiglass and the stone path, stone fence at the bottom. I think it looks really good. I'll have to try that. So are you just like stacking them on top of each other with shift? Yeah. Trust me, it'll change your life. Are you using the framed one? Just the large semi-framed plexiglass. Gotcha. With the no bottom. And then put the stone at the bottom. Now I want planet to Yeah, we'll see this. about that. Oh, actually, that's really cool. I, I wow, that actually, it's really cool. See, it told you. Just change your life. It doesn't work so well on like curved paths, curved fences, but <laughs> yeah. But if you have uh, what we'll probably do in the future is that oh, you you were here when we we're talking to Matt. Mm. Is that uh, some fences will have additional curves in the middle? So that they line up better with uh, the paths and stuff. Which should help quite a bit. Hmm. I still think this multi layering of fences should get some support because I think that looks really cool. Yeah, we, we probably won't remove that functionality because it is really neat. something that you would see in an actual zoo, like a nice... Yeah. I think it's time to experiment with some subpolar.
Uh, now let's get onto the mammoths. Let's have a look. Oh, there's no age selection. Breed. You female. Breed. Five females of this pattern. Five females of this pattern. And five females of that pattern. a lot. I think that looks good. Let's wait for them to be done. Which skin's the biggest? I think the, For... black, the mammoth. I think the yeah, black the one black. is. I like the black one. I have to say that is my favorite. I remember when we were designing that one and I'm like, we should make it look like the Far Cry Primal Blood Test Mammoth. And then we did and it made it look epic. Yeah, it's a cool one. Chunky boy. It's very chunky. I love the animations too. Yeah. I'm really glad you redid that mammoth. Those mammoths. The fur texture looks so much better. Indeed. Even the blonde mammoth aren't quite like. Yeah, you can get some nice bonds with uh, the different tone variations. Mm. Look at that big mammoth running around. And it looks like a good sized paddock for them too. Look at that. That's pretty huge. You can really put a lot of other animals in here and still be... Some like, don't know if you'd put Rolly Rhinos in here. I think, are you gonna put in like, you can't put X animal with A animal, or is it just gonna be not that restrictive? Um, mm, well, that would just mainly be like a uh, behavioral thing, I guess. Yeah. Like, so, like, you wouldn't really know. Mm. Like, do you, do, do you mean like, um, yeah, <laughs> continue, I keep cutting you off. Yeah, I mean, like, because with real life zoos, you often don't put, like, hippos with elephants because they're aggressive towards each other. Right. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't want to put Tyrannosaurus with, uh, 
mammoths. Uh, that'll be something that we don't stop you from doing, but if you do do it, the consequences are probably not great. Oh, okay. I see how it is. This has to be my favorite. I love this dark bull. He's so majestic. Because we're, we might include the uh, Paleopedia at launch. Oh, yeah? And we kind of want to basically tie in the gene system to the Paleopedia so that the more DNA you have, the more you'll start to understand about the animal. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Um, so that way you can go into the Paleopedia and look at an animal's behavior ahead of time mm -hmm. to learn whether or not it's ter uh, territorial, whether it's tolerant to different animals, that kind of thing. Hmm. I feel like if I were to make like an Ice Age themed one with all the animals we have, I'd put Megaloceros and the Mammoths in together and keep the woolly rhino in its own paddock. I love these, I love one these of the fun things. things about the um, Mammoth Step animals is that we've kind of made sure that they all have a uh, I guess a crossover point in their stats. Mm. So they they all have a very similar uh, foliage density. So like for example, um, like the cave bear is just low enough for a minimum forest that you can keep it with like Megaloceros or the mammoth, for example. Mm. But you'd kind of be on the upper end of the mammoth spectrum or something. Yeah. Well, that's like all about compromise because you to, if you've got to keep animals together, you got to some things. Yeah. I think that's quite cool. Yeah, like we don't want to go out of our way to necessarily restrict things, but as um, animals get higher star ratings, they'll definitely be more pissy about their exhibit. That makes sense. that mammoth I did for Cap Van Art. I did a one based on the the skin. The step skin I think it's called. Yeah right. Yeah. I did it with a mother and a calf. I think it looks pretty good. God I'm not even reading the chat. Uh yeah. <laughs> I can show you some animals. The animal's very basic at the moment. All they do is just walk, run, scream, basically. That's alright. Yeah. I really yeah, can't in the future we'll be expanding them. So excited for clutter painting! My God, mm. that'll be so cool. Because it'll be great because you can have the modular rocks where you scale and move them and mm. be really f uh, finicky with them. Mm -hmm. But then there's the alternative, which is just grabbing the brush and painting some rocks down and some sticks down. And, oh, it's gonna be so good. That it really is. I feel like with like Planet Zoo, they really like. You can add amount of that detail, but they don't really streamline it enough. Mm. Yeah. Like, even have well, like, something that I kind of found was I made the, uh, the palm tree forest prefab, so I could just kind of spam it around my zoo. Mm. But because the blueprint doesn't save, I guess, the average height that it was made at, I have to keep dragging it into the ground every time I want to place it, which is pretty frustrating. It would sense. be nice if they streamlined some things. 
Yeah, especially the pathing and fencing. Yeah. It's just too clunky. It just needs to feel like, because like with this game, you just clunk it down. You Like, you do miss, um, like, the precision from mm. Planet Zoo. Mm. Like, you can't really go back and scale fences or things just because of how different they are. Mm. Um, but, like, it's very easy to just kind of sketch out a design. Mm. And, you know, like, once uh, we keep developing the game and we start adding stuff like venture placement, which will be a massive change, which would be great. Mm. Uh, and then stuff like segments automatically getting split at an intersection. Uh, that should help streamline stuff like demolition and fence replacement and that kind of stuff. Let's take a look at this view into the enclosure. That's beautiful. Yeah, sometimes the game can look alright. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. We We feel very dedicated to the game. We're always trying to make it better. You should be very proud. Yeah, we are. Sometimes we are. <laughs> yeah, like once it's done, it should be something very special. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. We'll see if they respond as we... Yeah, they do respond as we move it. That's pretty cool. I'm really uh, looking forward to having additional locomotion types into the game. Like um, like the stalking for the oh, different cool. theropods and grazing for the herbivores. Yeah. What about browsing? Just to kind of change up how they move. Yeah, they'll probably be like browsing and stuff. I was wondering if, like, if you wanted to split up the feeding, you could do like a browse. You could do browses and grazes for herbivores, because those are two very different styles of eating. Yeah. I think they're different enough to warrant a different type of feeder. You could say. Well, I think, like, for example, the Edmontosaurus, it has a like a low ground eat and then a tall eat, or yeah. like eat from the tall feeder. Like but yeah, what we're probably going to do is um, introduce a suggestions panel into the animal UI. Mm -hmm. So when you click on an animal, you can see what kind of uh, feed troughs it can eat from. Because mm -hmm. the issue with ontogeny is that animals are simply too little. Mm -hmm. So you'll probably have to plan out your paddock effectively and not just put down the tallest feeder you can because your baby sauropods won't be able to reach it. Mm -hmm. Which is why it's smart to have baby paddocks and then introduce them to the adult paddock yeah, I later. Think like that. That's what they do with a lot of animals that have big disparities like that. Which I think is a really cool touch to this game. Like you can, I don't know, there's always kind of like a, a, a solution that you can build, which I think is really, really cool. Mm. Have baby paddocks. I think once we have management in the game, that'll become more prevalent. that guests can look in and see baby dinosaurs growing into before they get released into their adult paddocks. Yeah. I don't think it'll be a thing with mammals though, because... Mummy. Give me the mam. The mam. Look at this chunky fluffy boy. Maximum chunk. I was really not expecting to get the demo this fast, I gotta be honest. Yeah, I've been working all month on it. <laughs> I was like... Because I, I remember he said we're not going to get it before the 5th, and I was like, oh yeah. And then, 
it exists in our hands. I'm like, oh shit. I literally went to yep. go to the toilet and then I came back and it was out. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Especially with Planet Zoo too, I just feel like it's Christmas. <laughs> oh god, there's so many simulation games right now. Mm. At least, like... Planet Zoo and Prehistoric Kingdom are different enough, definitely. Oh, they're very different. They are yeah. very different. But I feel like each has complements each other in different ways. Yeah, they both have very different uh, design philosophies. Mm. I feel like, well, this will have modular building. This is more about ease of, like, actually. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, PK is it's meant to be very, I guess, broad with it, with customization. Mm, intuitive. Like you will have the option to do micro stuff. I mean, like you can mm. place individual trees wherever you want. But we try to have a very open sense of gameplay. Mm. We want things to feel and be as easy as possible for the player. I just like with Planet Zoo, just placing down and around an enclosure just feels like a slog but like with the fencing and the pathing but with this you can really feel it paint it if you get what I mean you know it'll uh, it'll just get better with time which is yeah. great I really cannot complain like one of our biggest worries is that we've been playing this thing for like nine months now and iterating and iterating and changing and tweaking and we're really happy with the way it's playing but we were terrified that people would get it into their hands and then they'd be like it's not that great not very nice to use um hmm. but the feedback's been really really good so uh, I happy can, <laughs> i can really not say anything too bad about how it's been placing like it feels really fun to place different things like, it doesn't feel like a schlong. That's good. Like, with um, placing buildings and stuff in Planet Zoo, how it is, it's like a grid, and it's like different segments on the grid, but with like, when you want to place a building on, I'll just grab a building to quickly put down, like this, like, it's a lot more incremental. Yeah. This, it's like a rotation, and it goes chuk -chuk. Plus, there's these little hotkeys here. <laughs> Planet Zoo doesn't really have that. Planet Zoo doesn't have any tooltips, and it's very mm. bizarre. Especially when it's like tool intensive, like it is. <laughs> yeah, like um, I find that a lot of. It's not exactly true, but in in, in a lot of ways, I feel like uh, the Planet series kind of play almost more like software. Like, you look at the coaster builder and it's very precise, but it comes at the cost of not super ease of use until eventually they did add the kind of old roller coaster tycoon 3 placement style back in. Yeah. But no, it's interesting because, like, all the park builder games at the moment have their own goals and ideologies, and mm -hmm. it's good. It helps separate them. I just think that, um, with Planet Zoo, from what I've played, I've got like 30 hours in it now. It really isn't, it's just got a really steep learning curve. Mm. That's the thing. Like, I feel like, like, I don't have much knowledge of PK, and look, I've already made some pretty great enclosures. It's good. So I think that looks pretty cool. Especially the Ugrana, like, I quite like the Synecton's one. It's got 40 in here, but they don't feel stuffed in. This looks like there's plenty of space to roam. Uh, for everyone in my chat, you haven't really <laughs> missed much. I've just been building this entire time. Mm. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a weird person. I don't really spend a lot of time looking at the animals. 
mainly. Whoa, you are navigating on a far too steep, steep a slope. I might try and do a really nice little paddock. I'll think about it. I'll do for a pair of Prinicephaly. Try something quite. Yeah, C is to change placement mode. Yeah. yeah, we're always looking for feedback on how to improve things. Paths are using a temporary uh, visual solution at the moment, which is why you'll experience stuff like uh, being able to see them through the fences or the terrain or trees. That's fair enough. Yeah, and if, in a few weeks they should be uh, completely fine. No, it's funny because you got to try and, um, I guess, look at the game when you're going to give it to people and be like, okay, what's good enough to just kind of be temporary and what actually needs to be changed, like, immediately? Because, like, we're in the middle of uh, editing our grass. And uh, the grass that we had at PAX was real, real ugly. The one we have right now isn't super great, but it's okay enough to get the job done. Is interesting as a developer. I'll try to make a little zoo style enclosure. I think, ooh, I'm just gonna think about this one a little more. Have you been able to make use of uh, snapping angles yet for paths and fences? If you're gonna make like a really tight and specific path, oh, turn on snapping angles, everything's magical. How do you do that? Uh, if you go under the fence or the, or just any toolbox really, you'll see a slider that says snapping angle. Yeah. And that'll limit the degrees that you can move uh, fences and stuff. Which is how you get the really tight, precise, 45 degree curve turns. Oops. Might not work as nice if you've already started building on an axis that isn't relative to the world, but if you start building the park at a, with the angle snapping on, it's magical. I feel like a lot of this will be good when a lot of more smaller animals will be in the game. I don't 
meet such huge headaches. Yeah. Because uh, I don't think we'll change it for a while, but something that we're kind of considering at the moment is the way that we've done uh, exhibit sizes is based on the maximum social group requirement. Mm -hmm. Which is fine because you know, you know the total size required to house that many animals, but it mm -hmm. doesn't work for when you're trying to have a low population of animals. Mm -hmm. Because then you're overcompensating for what should actually be quite a much smaller paddock. So down the line, we'll probably go back and um, fix that up. So making smaller paddocks for animals should be more reasonable. Which is always good. Very good, yeah. Yeah. I love painting the boreal grass on top of the snow at a really low intensity. Mm. It uh, it actually it looks like the um, snow is melting around the grass. It's really cool. <coughs> of course. Yes, yeah. I feel blessed. Tropical wet, I feel like tropical dry would be best. It is pretty good. I don't think we need the baobabs. Get this 
I love mixing in some of the boreal trees with the uh, subpola. Mm. Is that spear grass? Huh. Yeah, that's pompous grass. Or are you looking at the elephant grass? Pompous grass. I think I'm gonna add a couple more prinocephaly in here. I think I might head off for the night. It's like one o'clock. Okay. But I'll see how I feel. I think I'll add. What's the mixed population? Two to six. I'll add a pair. I like a wickleberry. That's the best one. Oh, they're just very similar. Put a pair in there. A breeding pair. See what Nana rates my Prinocephaly enclosure. Um, send us a link again to my stream. Yeah, I've lost it. Should be in here somewhere. Put it, it should be just in voice stream. Ah, there it is. That was a dumb dumb. Wait, where is my cursor? I can't see it. My background's all white, I can't see it. <laughs> I saw the uh, rhinos, and I was like, wait a minute, that's not Pika. I didn't know we had the rhinos already. Oh, that's just my background. I can't see anything. There we are. I need to change my background to something that's not white. So I can actually see my cursor. Oh, I love it. What do you think? It's great. I feel like so cute. If I added some modular rocks, I think it'll look really nice. And even some water, like a little water feature in here, or even like a little yeah, water, a little moat in here, with some rocks for them to climb on, and like a little. Uh, it's so simple, but it's so cute. Hmm. It's really, it's very zooey. It's very pleasant. I like it. I like how open it is. Mm. The little cluster of the foliage, it's nice. Hey look, it did take me that long to make, and it looks great. But I think my favorite... Like, once you keep learning the tools and like understanding where everything is in, is in the UI, you'll be surprised by how much quicker it gets. Mm. Yeah, that's an awesome paddock. Yeah, I like that. I like the cute little one. <laughs> I think so this cool. is the best. I really like this one. Yeah, that's neat. There's the view from here. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, the... Yeah, that's really nice. I love how open that looks. <laughs> mm, especially with it out the ocean. I really like that view. Yeah. I think this... Three square kilometers in this enclosure. Well, Damn. I think it is. No, maybe five actually. Six actually. Six square kilometers. Nice. That's a big paddock. I'm very happy with that. Nice. It's 
surprised there's still so many people watching me. I'm just looking in the polls menu. <laughs> it's because they like you. Oh, thanks everyone. Cute. To be fair, Nato is probably the best Australian to watch. Because most of the others are worthless. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? I would agree. Wow, someone joined. Do oh no. Who's that? Alright, you may Hello. speak, Stinky. Oh, no. Damn, where's so rude? <laughs> stinky poo -poo. How are you guys doing? doing right. It's PK time. Have you seen my stream? No, dude, I'm just li literally just made breakfast and I just came to my computer and I'm <clears throat> gonna play that shit. Let's see. Yeah, we're streaming it right now. Yeah. Nice. I'm streaming it and so is Nano. Bro. Let's see. I'm really happy with mine. I'm really happy with this openness of the enacted paddock that I've made. Have we got an albino? Yeah, you're really getting the, the hang of the tools. It's, it's cool. It's actually really cool to see as a dev, because this is the first time we've had people that aren't us playing it. Yeah. It's really not that hard. That's good. I'm glad. Time to change the color of the UI? If we can? <laughs> yes. I think red's the best. I'm a big fan of the uh, turquoise. But you can also uh, set it to whatever you want by pressing the last button. Have a look at the Enectins. He's quite a cool looking boy. Well, the thing like this one's a girl because she's drab. He's not letting me choose the color I want, though. Maybe yeah. that's just being racist. Yeah. Did you click the button all the way on the right? Yeah. Like I can change the values in the, uh, like you know, by typing them. But you can't drag the thing around. Mm -mm. Huh. How do you remove? Your Let me, that's probably because I'm doing them from the menu. Let me try on the. Yeah, action. try going in game. That's probably why. By the way, no, no, the music is lovely. It really is. Thank you. How do you? Uh, just press Alt. Alt F4. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also uh, oh, a little uh, eyeball icon. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh. I think I lost my. Wait, what happened? I crashed. Sad. I think I lost Did you save point. recently? I think the one last I saved was the Ugrunalik paddock. That's alright. Royal Valley. Mm. Mm. At least I have it saved. Once we, th once we thread uh, saving, we'll have auto saves. So don't worry about that. Yeah, I'm not worried. I have it all videoed, so I'll never forget this park. Guys, the hype is real. It really is. Okay, let's see if I can change the UI again. Okay, now I can. We'll go for a nice terracotta color. Mmm, perfection. Oh. See? Here we are. Load Shit, game. man, it's too beautiful. Yeah. Last save we have is the one from the Ubernatic Paddock. Oh no, Bronto Burgers. No. <laughs> We actually have a loading screen hint about Bronto Burgers, but we'll let you find that. Oh my god, <laughs> I need to see that. Yeah, but when is Brontosaurus going to be in PK though? That's Never. <gasps> stinky. That's racist. Brontosaurus gay. It's a stinky animal. You know what we really need? A sauropod that's just an asshole to keep. <laughs> it just loves breaking out. It's really funny. Well... <laughs> There might be one coming. I reckon it would be Bronto Smash 2. 
I know I know Joe wants to smash a Brontosaurus. Of course. Oh. Kingy. You wouldn't. Okay, let's see, it's time for some god tier path system. Fuck yeah, this is much better than Blind Zoo. <laughs> you press C to switch between the modes. I think we're gonna try it like a really nice mammoth enclosure. Bro, this is fucking great. So smooth. If you, if you hold shift, it ignores snapping to nearby paths. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I thought, because I'm so used to playing with Planet Zoo at the moment. Ooh. I like the path designs. Nathan did a good job. Mm. How do we get like an elephant fence? Like a uh, thick poles. Like the you just made one for your Edmonto paddock, you dingus. <clears throat> Which one? The one with the white poles and the cables in between. Oh right, you lost the paddock. Yeah. Never mind. Sad. I still have but if you go to um, if you go into fences, mm. and then metal fence, it should be the last Ooh, one. Ooh, the iron bar fence. I like it. A Victorian style zoo. Yeah, that's the uh, elephant pants. Okay guys, you did an amazing job with the freaking fence system, I, I swear. Thanks. There's some improvements what... still to come, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> this is what Planet Zoo should have had. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll be able to manually open and close uh, normal gates, oh. and because the fences are usually four meters wide, uh, most animals should be able to fit through. Epic. Now this is a nice enclosure. I like the shape of that. What I think we'll do. Ah, there you go. It shows the actual metrics inside the uh, it's nine hundred twenty-five square meters. That's good. Mm. Stuff kilometers. If you hear some noises, it's because I'm eating. Mm. I was like, fine. you know, the excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Time to make some Edmontosauruses. I'm gonna try and make like a mammoth enclosure that make it a little bit more. Oh, we're gonna choose H? No. Sad. Back, hey, Mao. Oh, are you here? Sad. I must. I must to be here. Mao, please. What? Mao, this is really epic. I love it. Do you like it? Yes, the path system is so fucking smooth. I know. Holy shit. Glad you like it. And the fence system is got tier. Glad you like that too. Yeah. It's only gonna get better from here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Mm. I'm about to play some Edmontosauruses. Let's see how they look like in the game. The Did you check really out the Prinocephaly? Yeah, I have not. Let me do that while the Edmontosaurus are being made. Let's Should see. down that little panic. Well, the little motherfuckers. There you go. Oh, look at them. Hello. So nice. They look really good in the game, like, on the profile, on the species profiles they look good, but they don't do justice to, yeah. like, the animals. I've heard definitely profiles ages ago. Oh mm -hmm. Yeah, it's ancient. It's a pretty good boy. I feel like it deserves it. I'm excited for the mammoth. Mammoth tight. Just you wait. 
think of what I'm gonna do. I think that looks. Something strong enough for a mammoth. Hmm. Oh, yeah, no, no, by the way, uh, in your stream, nobody can hear you. Like, you can't hear Oof. your voice. Awkward. Very awkward. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to set that up properly, so I'll do that next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Time to make a nice HCV to Urunalau. Yeah, very fucking cool part, man. Love it, love it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah, it's all, uh, like I said many times, it's it's all so exciting because uh, pre-alpha 1 is going to be even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the, the full package. The, the full creative, artistic uh, freedom. Yes, and more animals. Imagine even better path system, even better fence system. Smoother uh, terrain tools, water painting, modular building, and more animals, of course. Yes. Can't, I can't wait, man. It's gonna be hella lit. It's gonna be fire, my guy. I find some weird issues with the um, screenshot mode. I think it's when I go through a fence. Uh, basically, I can't look up anymore. Or at the very least, I have to move my... I have to look all the way down, then I can look up again. That's strange. Yeah, it's definitely. Oh, actually, I think it's something to do with the zoom. I don't know. Something's gone with. I don't know if it's the type of grass it chose, but the, the grass looks really short. Ah, uh, try uh, painting some different types of grass around. Yeah, it's what I'm doing, but let me try tropical wet. Um, nope. And make sure you hold it down for a while, because it's a bit blocked at the moment. Ah, there you go. That's why. Yeah. Uh, we'll keep improving the grass, by the way, it's not the final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, when it's done, it's supposed to have nice curves. Yeah. Oh? Yeah, that's kind of like a... We really hated what we had right before the build, so we just did a quick change. Yeah. Mm. That's pretty we'll be better in the future. Indeed. Let's try the, uh... Foliage painting. That is nice. Finishing actions with terraforming is a little slow at the moment, but that'll be something that we improve. You will get smoother. With yeah, it's fine. Like even so, I would say like uh, this build is uh, decently optimized. Yeah, I'm it's, running it's it. really good, man. Uh, as I it's said, really smooth. I'm running it at 4K with um, 30 frames. That's really not that bad. Like, considering how big the island is, you can run all this shit in the demo if you wanted to. Nope, no way. All the trees, yeah, all the well, shit show. not perfect, but I think <laughs> it's good. Time to play some feeders. Yes. Nice, nice. The UI is awesome. Really, do, nice. really good. Very clear. Why have I not tried to build like a proper new main street area now that the fences? I mean, the paths are better. Oh my god, you expanded your park quite a bit. It's, it's pretty Oh hard. yeah. Look at this Mediterranean paddock. The placement with the... Pathing's not 100% yet. Yeah, but the Mediterranean weird. paddock is nice. I like how you did the pines. It's so cool. Oh, yeah. uh, which bit wasn't 100% Jared? What was that? The pathing. Yeah. Not quite yet. We'll get there. Are you trying to uh, connect it to like intersections and stuff? Mm. Just trying to do like a big, huge viewing area so you can go and see these yeah, mammoths. 
I found that if you hold shift to disable snapping before you start placing it, it usually works better. Okay, that works a lot better now. Yeah. Let me see the size of the island. Holy shit, this thing's huge. And this isn't in, this is not even the biggest island, that's the crazy part. No, it is. Like oh, it is definitely bigger than this, yes. Okay. Actually this island Cause... was bigger than this before and we had to downscale it because it was too big. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. It was absurdly large. It was overwhelming how much space you had. It, it was way too much. Yeah, no no, it's it's a good size island. You can make a really nice park here. Yeah. Okay, and it doesn't fully extend to the borders of the map either. Ah, There's still good. a little bit more leeway so you can terraform out by a little bit if you want. Oh but it God, does for the most part take up the whole mm. chunk. The size difference between the Montosaurus is crazy. Mm -hmm. mm. Between the species, holy shit. I got a Melanistic of Montosaurus. I got two Melanistics and an Albino. Rejoice because we're gonna reduce their uh, spawn rates. We're gonna make them rarer. Nice. Epic. Yeah, makes sense. Make them be worth, you know, the w worth the. Uh... They should be much more random. Or more hmm. rare in place. I like how the Adnectans. The melanistic skin, you could just say it's a like a really chat ogre on a log. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen my little technique of mixing fences? That's quite funny. Make some really nice little enclosures. Yeah, because you can um, hold shift to disable snapping, Joe found out that you can lay fences on top of each other. Mm. Interesting. So you can kind of add like a stone, as like a, you can paint like a a big glass fence, and then you can add a stone fence beneath it as kind of like a trim. Mm. Pretty neat. These, uh, that out of the box thinking that you need. <laughs> that New Zealand ingenuity. Yeah. <laughs> get it done right, get it done Kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> Roundabouts are so much easier now that they snap. Used to be a real pain in the butt before. Alright guys, mammoth unlocked. This is good. You did it. That's good. Yes. Um I'll make a proper exhibit for it, not like the Montosaurus that I did something really pretty bad over there. <laughs> See. Okay, I quite like how that's looking. Come up with some cherry trees around the back and make them weird. Yes, finally a bulldozer. Can remove everything. <laughs> Click every single thing. <laughs> yes. No, that's relatable. All of the time. Yeah, we can get rid of the boulders if you want. No. <laughs> Die. Don't get rid of boulders. It's pretty clear you dislike it. Nice pink trees leading into the... You know, I look back at the demo, and I'm like, damn, that shit was trash. Yeah, compared to this. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to be looking back and we think, oh, this is going to be utter ass. <laughs> yeah. You know, in like six months time, you'll look back on this and be like, oh, that wasn't that great. I think it's still yep. Or it probably is okay, it's just it'll be better. <laughs> yeah. Toggle to 
shift thing is so easy. Yeah, I can't wait for the borders. Yeah, path borders. Mm. It's gonna be tight. I can't wait for stuff like uh, the railings. I love it fast. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I think we're ready for terraforming. Hey, look at those three circles you did. Yeah, it was so easy. Yeah. Made Mickey Mouse. Yesterday, after a lot of uh, waiting and suffering, I finally got a female elephant to Planet Zoo. Jesus Christ. Nice. Yeah, she's pregnant too. Epic. Epic baby moments. Mm -hmm. Yo, that game is actually so beautiful. Like, it really is. Indeed. You think my enclosure is ready for some mammoths? I feel like a couple redwoods would make it feel quite nice. A couple redwoods in the corner. With this. Another, oh, it's yeah, another one. Hello. Get this section quite it's a nice one. Down. More people. Oh no. That's right. Nana Ronda looking for you. Oh no. No, please. Not again. I should probably unlock the mammoth. It's been 2 hours and 30 minutes since I started. <laughs> <clears throat> Time is it? It's like two o'clock huh. in the morning. I love her. I still like that little print assembly enclosure I did. So, so oh, the pre made one that we had? No, the one that I made. Oh, the one you made? Yeah. yeah. That's really cute. Simple. I like this mammoth one I made. It's like a more curved and it's got a couple redwoods in it. I like that helps add a lot to it. First person mode will be tight. Extra male mammoths I got that I don't want.
Where's my thunder terrain? Epic thunder moment. Indeed. Yes. Can't wait until we have more brushes. That's gonna be really cool. Oh, that's gonna be great, especially if it's terrain painting. Mm -hmm. Take a screenshot of this paddock. That's tight. Yeah, so like the terrain looks more, uh, you know, different ways of blending in and stuff. Yep. I'll just quickly send it in voice stream. Ooh, the snow is really good. Can't wait for rocks. It's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Lots of people joining. Alright, man, good night. Yeah, yeah. Good night. Stream.